actually going to try and get her EB in the lot uh, to get her away from the unit. When we talk about Operation Cross Country or these types of operations that we run, uh, the primary goal is really the recovery of children, right? And, and so we definitely want to arrest those who have exploited children, but our primary goal is really to recover children, and then not only from the recovery standpoint, but providing them victim services to get them back home or back integrated into society. So part of um, the victim specialist approach is being on scene with the agents and task force officers, making sure that we have that one-on-one -on -one contact with these victims. And so part of my role and responsibility is making sure that I first and foremost um, provide really good crisis intervention, that we're providing needs assessments, that kind of doing psychosocial assessments, trying to figure out what their background is. Are they runaways? Have they been in the system in foster care? Um, do they have have any kind of juvenile delinquency history? Um, what does their parent life look like? Do they have any support? Have they been in school? What does that piece look like? And how can we provide some good support for them to keep them out of the life and so that way they don't go back to that? You're, you're okay, all right? You're not in trouble. And it's not just the Operation Cross Country. We work 365 on a daily basis recovering these high-risk kids and kids who have been involved in sex trafficking. And so on a daily basis, we're working as a multidisciplinary team, just making sure that we're giving these cases the best care that we can. Uh, the moment that you recover that victim, the moment that you get that victim started into social services and, and maybe uh, identifying some of those needs that that victim may have because the victim may have been separated from their family for a number of years, they, they may be homeless. And so when you recover that victim, that starts the process of, of getting that person back on track. And so for me and for the men and women who work this violation, again, very gratifying uh, because we're having an immediate impact. But what I understand and what the men and women who work this violation understand is that there are many more victims that we need to reach.